What's up guys, Jacob Bober here. Got some big Brewers free agency news to talk to you guys about today. The Brewers have re-signed free agent third baseman Mike Moustakis on a one-year $9 million deal. They said it was in the $9 million range, um, but uh, this move, I, I don't want to say it was unexpected. I did expect the Brewers to make uh, another free agency move before the season started. I wasn't I wasn't sure if that was going to be a move for a starting pitcher, or for extra infield or outfield help, but I knew they were going to make another move, and this looks like the move that they uh, are going to end up making, the last move I would anticipate before the season starts. So this probably means that there's not going to be any Dallas Keuchel. I anticipate that, and that kind of disappoints me a little bit. Because I think that the Brewers could have used an anchor of the rotation more than they could have used uh, another infielder. And obviously, Moustakis was a big part of their playoff run last year. And in a, in a way, you do want to keep some of the continuity from last year as well. Having that pretty much essentially the same starting lineup as last year and keeping Moose in that in the middle of all that. He was a big factor in their uh, late September uh, uh, streak that they went on to... Uh, essentially take the National League Central. Uh, he was a big part of that, and uh, bringing him back will certainly help that lineup a lot. Obviously, there was a bit of a hole at second base there uh, with uh, Perez and Spangenberg being the only guys to really anchor that uh, second base role until uh, the Brewers bring up their uh, prized prospect, uh, Keston. Uh, but, I mean, now with Moustakis, you can shift Shaw back over to second, and you can put Moustakis at third base. Uh, this lineup's going to have a lot of power like it did at the end of last year. They're going to have guys like Yelich and Moustakis and Shaw, uh, Aguilar, all anchors of the rotation. Uh, there's going to be a lot of pop, that's for sure. Uh, and do I like this move or not? You know, it's not the worst thing to happen for the Brewers. I think that Moustakas certainly makes them a lot better, uh, especially their lineup, like I said, and uh, obviously his defense at third base is um, some of the best in the entire major leagues at that position. Uh, I, I've still, uh, I still feel like the Brewers probably should have uh, looked more for an anchor of the rotation, though. I, I really wanted them to go out and get like a guy like Dallas Keuchel. I was really counting on that. That doesn't look like it's going to happen now with this Moustakis signing, but I still do have faith in the Brewers and their um, ability to uh, make something out of nothing. You know, a lot of people coming into last year said, well, the Brewers, they should have signed a big-name free agent pitcher so they could take the next step. They didn't do that, but they still took the next step and made it all the way to the National League uh, Championship Series. Uh, so... Um, that's all you really have to say in this video, and uh, I'll, I'll end it with this. Do I agree with this or not? I do agree with it. I, I'm glad the Brewers did bring uh, in or bring back Moustakis. Uh, I, like I said, I would have preferred to have an anchor of the rotation, but you know, I, I trust David Stearns to be doing the right thing in these situations, and this is a move that's certainly going to help the Brewers going forward this season. So hopefully the Brewers can pick up where they left off last season and continue uh, their torrid pace that they ended last season on uh, and hopefully get even further than they did last year. So anyways, guys, well, that's all I have to say in this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. Do you agree with the Brewers re-signing Mike Moustakis to a one-year $9 million deal? Leave a comment in the comment section below. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Go Brewers!